All right, what's up guys, Dustin Depp here, and today I've got for you my OnePlus One. Uh, this is the Sandstone Black 64 gig um, edition. This is the Cyanogen Mod One, but I've actually changed out the ROM, as you guys can tell, to uh, MIUI. Now this is MIUI version 5, because version 6 isn't yet available for the OnePlus One, and that is a bit of a bummer. Um, first off, as, see, as you can see with MIUI 5, you get these rounded corners on just about everything. Um, you also get this pretty cool launch screen. I do quite like it. Um, it's got everything right there you'd want. Um, it doesn't have the swipe over from the side like, say, Cyanogen Mod or MIUI 6 to get into the camera, but you still have the camera option to go there. You've got your unlock, your phone calls, and your messages. So uh, let's go ahead and unlock the device here, and I'll uh, walk you through it. Sorry, I'm in my Hue app there, as you guys can see. So we'll go ahead and hit home. Um, I am running just the normal system launcher for this, but you can run Nova or any other Google Now launcher or anything like that. So it's whatever you guys want, really. Um, with MIUI, it comes with its own Mi Market. So it comes with its own apps in there. Not all of the apps are in English, but you can find quite a few apps in here. But if you just search for Google, You'll find one by a person named Eric Zhang, and you can then download the Google Market, Google Play services, all that stuff, and you'll have Google Play just like on a normal Android device, and they will update just like a normal Android device, so you won't have any issues there. Um, anybody that's used um, an iPhone, it's kind of that type of interface with, see, with MIUI, there's no app drawer or anything like that. Um, I actually really like MIUI, um, obviously, MIUI 6 is my favorite version now. Um, it's uh, updated with a lot more flat interface. Um, the search, you can get to the search a lot easier on MIUI 6. The toggles are better. It's just an overall cleaner interface. I really like MIUI 6 and I can't wait for MIUI 6 to come out for the OnePlus One. Um, because right now, you just don't have all of the uh, options that I'd like to have. So first off, uh, a couple things I want to point out with MIUI 6 with this is even though this is a 4G phone, I think they must have used like a Mi 3 ROM and kind of ported it to the OnePlus One because you actually don't get 4G access on this. So if I go to mobile networks here, um, we'll go to preferred network type. As you can see, prefer 3G, 2G, or 3G networks only, um, which is a real pain for me. Let me go ahead and zoom in here for you guys. Sorry about this. So we'll zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. And uh, as you guys can see, you only get those choices of networks, which is a real pain. And I thought maybe, well, maybe that's the only thing that shows up. But I was down in London the other day where I do get uh, 4G. And uh, obviously, I didn't connect to it. The only thing I could get was 3G. So remember that if you use the OnePlus One in a 4G area. Because if you load MIUI 5, you obviously won't get that. Um, a couple highlights, though, with the MIUI ROM is you get its own like security app. And everything like that it uh, it does come with a lot of things in it it's got its own um, it's got its own uh, virus software it updates weekly which is pretty cool so every week you get an update like right there it tells me I've got an update and all I have to do is hit it and it'll update um, I'll do that later but you've got themes just like anything else uh, just like San engine mod or any of the other mods out there so you can completely change the look and feel of your phone um, you can change it to where it looks like MIUI 6 and uh, I do have some that make it look like MIUI 6 so we'll go ahead and apply that but I wanted to show you what it looks like normally um, a lot of these themes are free but some of them you do have to pay for um, if you go to the English MIUI forums you'll be able to see how to actually buy the credits and things like that so this is just one of the MIUI 6 themes, and it does look pretty close to MIUI 6. Uh, this one isn't the good one. Don't go with the hello color, because when you pull down from the tray, it doesn't actually work right. So we'll apply this one. There's loads of different themes on there, though. So now that I hit home, it's going to reload the launcher, and you guys will see that it works like a charm. Um, this is the launcher I normally use, but I wanted to put the normal one on there just to show you guys. Um, but overall, it's a pretty great experience. Uh, when you go to the camera, though, also, let's go back to the camera, um, you do lose your 4K video recording. So let's go ahead and go into settings here. It does have a pretty sweet um, camera launcher. So uh, let's go into settings, and then we'll go to picture size. Hmm, wait a minute. 
let's go to video mode. There we go. Now let's go to settings, video quality. And as you can see, all you get now is 1080p. So that's another uh, drawback of running MIUI version 5 on your OnePlus One. Uh, if you have like a Mi Pad or anything like that, then you know, you're gonna get your Mi Cloud. It's gonna back everything up for you, kind of like iCloud does your contacts, which is pretty sweet. Syncs your photos. There is a lot of things that Xiaomi does that are really good. Um, but I don't know if I recommend running MIUI on the OnePlus One. Uh, if you want a 5.5 inch device, then look at the Redmi Note because with that, you're gonna get MIUI 6 quicker. Um, or maybe if you can do a 5 inch device, go with the Mi 4, obviously. Uh, the Mi 3 is also a great device and they all, they all run MIUI better than, uh, than the OnePlus One. The OnePlus One still does really good in benchmarks and you don't get any lag. I mean, there's no real bugs in it, but it's just a bit of a bummer that MIUI 6 is out and obviously, the OnePlus One doesn't get that yet. Um, obviously, Xiaomi is gonna, you know, update their own phones first. So uh, that is just a bit of a pain, and you really miss out um, because you don't get the card-style uh, app drawer or anything like that, which is a real pain because the card-style app drawer is so awesome on uh, MIUI 6. So uh, for now, I would have to say don't run. MIUI 5 on your OnePlus One. I can't say that I recommend it, and I am a huge MIUI fan. Um, when MIUI 6 comes out for the OnePlus One, then I will totally be reloading it. Um, hopefully by then they'll have the 4G enabled, they'll have the camera updated to 4K like in the Mi 4, and, uh, and really once they do that stuff, it's an amazing ROM. I mean, there's actually no real bugs on this ROM. I haven't had any forced restarts or anything like that. Um, overall, it runs really good. You get your uh, toggles there, your notifications. You can change all these toggles, which is awesome. Um, so you can put whatever you want up there, and there's loads of different options. You get all the security features that come with MIUI, the virus scanning. Uh, obviously, if you load the developer version of it, then you have like instant root access, which is pretty cool. There's nothing special you have to do about it. So uh, overall, MIUI is an awesome, uh, awesome, you know, ROM to run on it. I just wish it was MIUI six. So until it's MIUI 6, guys, um, I'm going to say hold off. Once they update it to MIUI 6, which will probably be, I would say, early next year, um, then totally run it. Until then, hold off, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything else you guys want to know about this ROM running on my OnePlus One, uh, please put it in the comments below. I'll leave a link to the uh, English MIUI thread where you can actually, uh, or the English MIUI forum, where you can actually download MIUI ROM if you guys want to run it and try it out. It is a great ROM, it's really fast, everything like that. But if you've played with MIUI 6, it just feels like you're on last year's model. You know what I mean? If you have never played with MIUI 6, then you'd probably be perfectly happy with this. But uh, yeah, totally. So any questions or comments, put them in the box below. Uh, otherwise, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.